All right, guys, we're back at it again. This is the 2006 Bounder RV with the Atwood level leg issue. This is update number two. If you haven't watched my other videos, you need to watch my other videos. So, backstory, left front leg blinking. Uh, alarming wouldn't do anything the whole system wouldn't do anything uh, pulled the control panel out pulled the keypad out send it to a place let me grab this hold on we're gonna pan across and make you all dizzy control system labs these people are awesome um, they helped me out quite a bit they checked out my system they found out that there was nothing wrong with my control panel. They blamed it on my leg. Um, we got everything back, hooked everything up. Nothing worked. So, once again, Control System Labs. I called him. I got on the phone with the technician. And he actually helped me so much. He walked me through um, several different diagnostic steps. Um, he did send me a um, Atwood Level Legs. Uh, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about the focus. He sent me a, a manual, which I did not have. Okay. So I went through some of this stuff. I tried some of this stuff. I couldn't get anything to work. I called him. We were talking back and forth. So right down here, you see the red. You have your main power coming in. I'm going to try to do this without sticking my fat fingers over the phone. Main power coming in. Main ground is over here. Um, all your other connections. Main ground is right there. So we started checking. I got my voltmeter out. He helped me with my voltmeter. And I had a drop in voltage coming in to the control unit. When we tried to power a leg, it would drop to zero. So essentially, I did not have enough power to run the system. I did not have enough power to run the legs. Um, like I said, my voltage was dropping down to zero. So basically no power. So his suggestion for me was to check my main power line, find out if there's any problems with my main power line. Really didn't think I had any problems, guys. I thought this thing you know, was buttoned up pretty tight. It's a pretty nice RV. I've owned it for a few years. Maintenance is good. But every one of these systems has where the main power line comes in from the battery. It could be in a different location on your vehicle. It could be, you could have the exact same vehicle, might be in a different location. So directly below my battery is a 50 amp breaker. And the power line comes directly from the battery from the positive side drops down to one side of the 50 amp breaker goes to the other side of the 50 amp breaker and comes up through the coach and into the control panel so he was telling me that I had a problem in there so I thought maybe the breaker was bad I haven't had any mice problems with this RV I had one before that I had some mice problems but this one you know knock on wood haven't had any issues but while I was down there checking the breaker and the connections and everything and I knew I had a good connection at the battery because I had to disconnect the battery and all the cables to put the the system back in so I didn't short it out then I connected all the connections again everything's tight everything's clean I went down to the breaker on the frame rail and it looked good I measured the voltage and there was literally no voltage drop between the two connections until I grabbed a hold of one of the wires and it was loose. The wire coming from the uh, side of the, of the breaker that came up into the coach was loose. So, therefore, I was losing voltage there. I mean, it was loose, loose. So I got some electrical connection cleaner, went up there, sprayed the connections, tightened that one connection down, and 
Um, sorry about that. Got a text message. Uh, anyway, so my it didn't really show like a voltage drop. Um, but obviously, when the vehicle's running, you got vibration, you got any type of movement, you're losing voltage there. So I cleaned those connections. I tightened them back up. I put them back together, I started the vehicle, I checked my voltage at the battery, I checked the voltage on both sides of that circuit breaker, and, and then I came back up and I checked my voltage here. Lo and behold, my voltages were great, and my legs started working. I could manually override my legs and I could start moving my legs up and down. So. I don't know if my particular issue is solved 100%. I had a left leg, left front leg problem, but I did get the coach moved to a dis different position. I did retract all and reset the system, and I parked it in a different position. I set the auto leveler, and it auto leveled. So, truth will be. Well, not the truth, but the proof will be after a few uses if it continues to work or if I have an issue with one of my legs. So that is my update number two so far for this, guys. I'm going to run this up and down a couple of times. I really don't want to stress the system out. Uh, I really need to start up my RV and let it sit for a while because my battery uh, voltage is a little bit low. So I just need to let it sit and run for a while, charge the battery, get everything up to snuff, um, and then go from there. Uh, probably, rather than let it sit and run at the gas prices, probably go get out my battery charger and drag out an extension cord and put my battery on a trickle charge. Anyway, long story short, this has been uh, a solution to my problem. If you're having the same issue that I'm having, um, before you tear it, tear everything out and go send this thing out, which if you need a repair, I recommend these. I highly recommend these guys. These guys know these systems inside and out. They're one of the last places that fix fixes these at wood level leg systems among other systems. They do not offer uh, parts for sale. Uh, and I don't, I, I think they only concentrate on the controller and the control pet box. Um, they don't work on anything else the to my knowledge i didn't see anything else on their website but these guys are awesome they help me out so um i'm going to cut it off here guys i don't want to make this too too uh long if i have an issue uh, i will do an update number three if i don't have an issue i may do an update number three letting you guys know that everything's working fine but this is where we're at today check your connections check your breakers check all your cables make sure they're all tight make sure everything's good because like i said if you would have told me i had a, a loose connection down there i wouldn't have believed you until i grabbed it and and did it myself so you know that's on me just uh trying to help you guys out good luck with everything if you have an atwood level legs because we all know we can't get parts we can't get service we can't get jack we're on our own uh, I'm still looking. There was a, a system that I found for sale. It was three legs. The guy said one leg was bent, but you know, I can buy the whole system. The guy wants over $2,400 for it, which it's a used system. It looks like it's been in the snow. Uh, it's got some, you know, some of that white, uh, salty corrosion on this, on it. Um, but you never know for 2,400 bucks, I might be just buying a bunch of parts that don't even work. Um, no guarantees there. So no guarantees with anything, guys. Anyway, I'm going on. Good luck. Hit me up if you have any comments or questions or suggestions. And uh, I'll try to get back uh, to you guys as soon as I can. Thanks, and we'll see you later.